bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello again. And welcome to French Hawes Bear Reviews. I'm Scott. I'm Jeff. Mr. Freeze is here with another 16-ounce offering from the Shed Brewery in Middlebury, Vermont. It's in aluminum. <laughs> That's nice. The Mountain IPA. Yes. They did make an IPA before this that was just, I think, the Shed IPA. Yeah. And uh, they wanted to amp it up a little bit, so now they get the Mountain IPA. 6.6% 60 IBUs from Tim Gibo. Tom Gibo. <laughs> Thank you, brother. VT Green underscore 802. Tim's doing some great, great reviews. reviews. Check yeah. him out. Um, he's a, we call him beer tubers. Sure. In the YouTube world, we call him beer tubers. We are, we are beer tubers. Now we are, yeah? Yeah. yeah. But Tim, seriously, thank you. Yeah. We always appreciate. We'd like to uh, we'd like to trade some beers with you in the future for sure. And uh, this is the last offering from uh, from Tim that we have. I've been holding that Tom Gabo back for like weeks now. He's Tim though. I know it was a joke. <laughs> it was pure jokiness. All I right, was... all right, all right. High altitude hoppiness. It says on here. I brought this guy over there. All right. What do we got for reviews? Uh, for Bear scores? Advocate says uh, 4.05 out of 5. Untapped is 3.6 out of 5. Uh, That's a pretty huge, solid beer. That's a huge gap. Huge, huge gap. But sounds like a solid beer. We'll see. It doesn't matter until we review it. That's right. That's right. You know? Delicious hot punch of pine and resin and citrus. Is what they're saying on the uh, on the shed website. So we're gonna we're gonna put that to the test here. Um, I don't I don't have a lot of head here. You have a little bit there. That's a personal problem. A little lacing, not too much. It's uh, it's in between uh, filtered and, and hazy. That's you know, pretty hazy. That. Cl- clear by any yeah. means but yeah it's probably filtered one run through a filter or something want to smell it sure smell it yeah i like that i mean Ooh. danky yeah musky malty malty definitely malty Cheers before you drink, so. Uh, Cheers, brother. Malty. Yep. Slight yeast. Uh, Not as hoppy as I like my IPAs. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, I like that bold IPA flavor. Yeah. And it's not there. I'd like this. Um... It is an IPA, but this is, I mean, having said what I just said, it's probably more of like a true English style IPA. I'd like this in a 12 ounce six pack for 10 bucks. Agreed. Um, I don't think I want to pay. 13 or 14 dollars for a four pack because mm-hmm. I don't think the flavors are there and the alcohol is not there either 6.6 percent not yeah. I, I don't want to pay 14 15 dollars for a four pack when you can get much better stuff but uh, but it's decent but I, I I really think they were going for the true style of a Old school IPA, not like the new stuff that me and you love so much. Mm-hmm. And this is a classic English IPA. Yeah. Maltiness and hoppiness and 
It does have a, a good blend of. I agree with the, you know the website said hot punch. Of pine and, and, and resin and citrus. And that. Yeah, it's all there. Not so much citrus. I don't catch the citrus as much. It's, but the uh, pine and resiny, oaky. And uh, I've seen I've seen shed in uh, bottles, hmm? six six pack, twelve ounce bottles. Uh, I've never seen it in uh, sixteen ounce cans until uh, Tim sent us this one, and. Um, um, I'm beer advocate is 4.05 and untapped is 3.6 and I'm somewhere in the middle there. Um, I feel overall with this one I'm at like a 3.8. I was, I was going to say 3.7. Um, it's decent and um, I'm not going to... I appreciate the style of it. I think we're looking at... Two different styles of beer, almost like what they intended it to be, and what me and you like. Yeah, but yeah, I'm at a three seven. I just, in my head, when I have a sixteen ounce beer versus a twelve ounce, I'm expecting more. Yeah. And usually, the, usually, what you're paying is more. So, um, I don't know what Tim paid for these, but um, if he's paying fourteen. 14 to 16 dollars a four pack i think it's a little too much for what we got here at six and a half percent and um not a whole lot not a whole lot of craziness going on with the flavor but yeah. um, but overall it, it's still decent to me it's um it's uh, like i said like a three eight and um yeah it, it's uh it is what it is yeah it's it's a decent beer, uh, if you see it in the store and in the price is right. Try it out. I mean, if there's nothing better there that you've seen on French Rose Bear Reviews, uh, mm. might as well pick it up. Yeah, it's not gonna blow you away, but it's 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 not gonna disappoint either. Right. It's it's. Mm. We've had plenty of better beers, but we've had plenty of worse beers. Yeah, I, it's strange how that that score is so so different. I, the four point oh five it seems it's quite a bit high for me though. Yeah. There's so much other stuff out there that's hitting hitting those yeah. marks and, and is probably in a in a twelve ounce six pack that's cheaper. Agreed. So I think. Um, Unfortunately, I think we're getting a lot of beers in four packs that are 16 ounce that don't deserve the, the price point that they're at, and people are paying for it. I I don't disagree with you, but I do like the size. I do like the, you know, when you get a good beer, a 16 ounce beer that's well worth it, mm. I don't mind it. Yeah. No. Yeah. So, we're uh, we're on the same page, and I think we're done for this one. Yeah, it's um, it's decent. It's okay. decent. It's mm -hmm. uh, it's a good to almost very good beer. If you're in that liquor store and you're like, shit, what do I get? They only got like a handful of stuff, and yeah, yeah. they got they got Rebel IPA, and they have uh, this. It's like, get this. Yeah. But, you're gonna pay a little more, but it, it, it's decent. And, um, Not that Rebel's bad. If that's so, if that's your worst case scenario, you're in pretty good shape, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, anyways, check I, out Tim at vtgreen underscore eight hundred two. Yes, he, Tim. Thank you very much for the donation. He's up in Vermont doing some good reviews, and um, we're gonna send him some more beers from, uh, you know, Rhode Island. Uh, Massachusetts area and hopefully we get some more of these uh, good Vermont beers from him yeah. but uh, that's it for tonight check us out the craft beer the craft beer diaries .com. Yes. Uh, share like subscribe comment give us suggestions tell us what to do Twitter. we're here for you not for us you Twitter Facebook oh tweet face that's tweet right face we're, we're all over social media. You yes. can find us. We beat French the Pittsburgh Steelers yesterday. 
you know, no. going to the playoffs. That's right. Home. Every Home two school. days we're putting up bear reviews. So check us out. Hit us up on the comments. Drive slow. Drink fast. Have Take a great chances. night. Thank Cheers. you guys. Bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by turning on into French Hawk.